Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our quick shoot series. Hey guys, it's Adam here. Recently I took a trip up to Toronto just for a weekend to attend the Waterloo video game swap. And while I was there, my buddy Scott the Canadian, who you'll see in a moment, uh, drove me around to a couple of different video game stores so that I could uh, try and get some other pickups and of course check out uh, more of the stores, some of which I'd been to before and some of which I hadn't. This one I had never been to. This is a new one called uh, Video Game Experts. Uh, at the swap, they happen to be the guys sitting next to us at the, that same booth. So, uh, it, you know, they recommended we go check out the store and we thought okay we have extra time and absolutely love to do that so I wanted to show you guys the store real quick here now you saw a lot of the more modern stuff like uh, Xbox one and stuff like that but they also have n64 and SNES and you got a nice uh, mixture of boxed and loose and they even have uh, like those little Nintendo cases separate uh, and uh, Master System and uh, Genesis and uh, all sorts of cool stuff there uh, a little bit of Turbo Graphics, as well as some Dreamcast. Woo! Shenmue, hell yes. Sonic Adventure 2, which you don't see in the wild that much anymore. Uh, Sega Master System in boxed, which uh, to European viewers, that'll look like nothing. But to North American viewers, that's like, holy shit, you have that much Sega Master System stuff in stock? That's kind of impressive. Uh, Genesis box, 32X boxed. Oh, Metalhead, I didn't even notice that until just now. Uh, Sega Genesis, more of it boxed, of course, aka Sega Mega Drive to, again, European uh, viewers. Um, nice Sega Saturn stuff, that's Japanese Saturn there. One of the games that's in there uh, is the Yakuken Special, which is a hilarious game that uh, we did a video on my other channel. I highly recommend you check that out. Uh, there was North American Sega Saturn, North American Sega CD. Uh, and then they've got like you know the glass case with all the uh, the rarer items or the harder to get stuff you know stuff uh, I should say the high demand items the stuff that people always come in like yo man you got that Mario like it's probably gonna be in that case somewhere uh, of course a lot of the, the consoles on display uh, Wii U stuff always nice to see a Wii U section uh, a lot of different options there nothing that I needed for the Wii U at least that I can recall. Uh, actually, I'm just noticing now that they had Disney Infinity, uh, which I don't think I have yet. Uh, uh, of course, we got Wii, we got uh, some GameCube here. Nice, healthy selection of GameCube, which was uh, a nice reoccurring theme that I noticed this weekend. I saw a lot of GameCube stuff, which I don't usually get to see. Uh, PlayStation 3, well, there's more of it to the left there. There's uh, Xbox 360 stuff, a lot of that. Uh, Xbox 360 stuff, I don't really collect 360 all that much, but now is a good time to get into the 360 because a lot of it is becoming absolutely bargain bin worthless. Uh, so, yeah, if, the, if you like the 360 a lot, now is kind of the time to start striking on it because it's a huge sea of titles for the 360, way more than I would ever attempt to get into, but uh, and a lot of them are worthless. Original Xbox, of course, uh, something I was heavily looking after the, on this particular trip. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they got, they had a nice amount of them. Original Xbox is still pretty cheap, though it is starting to go up a little bit because people like me keep telling everybody, hey, it's cheap and it's great, go check it out. And then, of course, that's hurting me because more people are starting to get it, so uh, less and less options out there all the time. Uh, PlayStation 1, lots of PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 is, like, again, is really cheap. Um, although, from what I was talking to some of the owners, uh, PlayStation 2 is starting to go up, man. But only, like, specific titles. Uh, like, there's there's a lot of titles for the PlayStation 2 that are skyrocketing. And then, at the same time, the vast majority of the library is worthless. I think it's going to be kind of like the NES, eventually, where it's just a lot of people will have a lot of passion for that console. And it's there's a shit ton of titles, and it'll be hard to get them all. And there's just going to be a few seated throughout, you know, that are just going to be super expensive. Um, then of course they have a few miscellaneous consoles, a PlayStation 3, a Dreamcast, uh, a Sega Genesis, an Xbox 360. Mind you, these prices are Canadian, so uh, if you're an American, you have to do the exchange rate, which is at the time I do this is about a 30% discount. Um, and then they had a nice little like Blu-ray and uh, DVD and PC game section. Also, they had some nice box consoles on top there, and I believe all of those actually have the console, not just the box. Uh, so yeah, you see a bunch of different uh, varieties of them. This is the one that caught my eye the most, though. This is the translucent green or original Xbox. We never got that in the U.S. Uh, we got the Halo one, which is the same color, but they got it without the Halo logo. Uh, so that that's always been kind of neat, and that's one I would actually pick up if I ever saw it up there for like cheap, but I never do. 
Uh, but yeah, just a lot more stuff here. Very cool. Some Actually, some Japanese N64 games. I didn't even notice that until now. Uh, and then they have some other items back there. And then they uh, a lot of the sealed stuff, the new stuff right there. If you just come in and you want like a brand new copy of some latest game, it's going to be there. But uh, yeah, overall, it's uh, it's a pretty neat store. Got Oh, they have Amiibos up there. I didn't notice that. Uh, yeah, neat store. Great guys who run it. That's Scott the Canadian, and I believe, yeah, he approves of the store. And that store is interesting because I guess only like a month ago they were based out of a flea market, uh, at least at the time I make this video. And uh, this is, they just opened that store, so uh, combine that with the fact that the swap, had, the Waterloo video game swap had, been the day, the, had happened the day before, their inventory was a little screwed up. In fact, when we got there, there were boxes all over the floor of uh, stuff they were trying to, you know, I guess they were trying to decide how they should have, they have taken it to the swap, stuff they brought back from the swap. They were actually next to us at the Waterloo Video Game Swap. Incidentally, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Waterloo Video Game Swap, watch my Waterloo Video Game Swap pickups video. It was really an awesome time. Uh, and I also show what the swap actually was. Uh, but anyway, so when I went there, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, can I shoot a video and everything? And they were like, absolutely, just let us clean up because there was boxes all over the place. Um, so yeah, they're, they're basically what I'm telling you is a lot of the stuff in the store was depleted, but I imagine that it wouldn't be like that most of the time. Uh, but as a result, I actually only found one thing there, which was this red card 2003 for the original Xbox. Um, there was a brief phase there where Midway, the ill-fated Midway, uh, was doing sports games. Like NFL Blitz is what really blew up for them, and that was really popular. Uh, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, you know, stuff like that. So they kind of they had some success. They tried that with a bunch of different sports. Uh, I believe MLB Slugfest was a thing, and NHL Hits. I think Wayne Gretzky turned into that. Um, but they tried one time with soccer, and that's when you got Red Card 2003. I don't know if they did any others, but I think in the case of the original Xbox, anyway, this was the only one they got. Um, now, a really nice thing about the store is after I picked it out, I was like, all right, I'll pick this up. Uh, they were asking five Canadian, again, that's around like 350 US with the current exchange rate. And they were just like, I just take it, it's whatever, just, it's no biggie. So that was it. I got the game absolutely for free, which is really nice of them to do. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, Video Game Experts. So I hope you guys, uh, if you're ever in the area, you take a look at it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.